Hello party people, I have a massive thrift haul for you. It's an accumulation of stuff that I've gathered for probably half a year. And if I'm being honest, I actually filmed a thrift haul a month or so ago and filmed it, edited it, and never <laughs> put it up. I don't know, it's a long story. So some of those things are here. They made it back to this area. Some of them haven't, so I'm just gonna do my best to share with you some of the amazing gems that I found from primarily Goodwill. And boy, did I find a ton of stuff. I don't even know where to start. I've got an art gallery going on. I have a new wardrobe happening. Got some random stuff for around the house. Uh, some kids stuff. Ooh, shoes. I have a whole basket of crap up here. Oh, let me just give you a 360. All of this stuff, all of this stuff, and all of that stuff. Oh, even that sweater on that couch is thrifted. <laughs> I've even used some of this stuff already, like up here. That mirror is thrifted. I know it shouldn't be up that high, it, it, whatever. There was already a nail there and I just put it up there. <laughs> I should show you all of this stuff in my garage. You guys, I don't know what I was thinking. I thought, oh, we're moving to a bigger house. We have all these walls. We need to put artwork on them. But like even the big cr artwork that I bought, it does not work in this house. It doesn't work on these walls. It just didn't work. <sighs> so there's that. You know what? I'm most excited about this piece. I was looking for a fruit bowl because we don't have one and so we end up I end up putting like bananas and stuff in the pantry But then our kids don't know that they're in the pantry because that's not typical behavior for us And then they go bad. So I found this for six dollars. Look how large this is. It's ceramic So likely it will break. Uh, I brought I broke my fruit bowl in the move so I was happy to find this one. I'm just peeling back the sticker to see the brand. CMG, handmade in Portugal. This is gonna take forever, hold on. I'm just gonna look up, oh, don't judge me by my outfit, by the way. <laughs> it's whatever. Oh, by the way, this sweater is thrifted. The workout shorts are thrifted. Guys, if you ever see me in anything, 99% chance it's thrifted. Oh my gosh. Are these from West Elm Pottery Barn? Crate and barrel? I don't know, this is taking way too long. No way am I doing that with everything. Uh, basically, whoever bought this full price paid way more than six bucks, so I'm happy about that. Okay, what's next? <laughs> okay, this is something that I was really happy about. You guys know I see wolves everywhere. It's like a sign, I don't know. Avelina and I saw this because I like to take Avelina and Eleanor out thrifting with me because it's just fun for all of us. Anyway, look at this wolf or husky, I don't know what it is, maybe it's both. It is so stinking darling, I love it so much. I saw that and I said, that's going in my room. And then Avelina saw it and she said, I love that so much, it's going in my room. And I said, uh, hold up right there, okay. So I think the best choice for this is to put it in a neutral spot, maybe Wentworth's bathroom, I don't know, I just love it. Check out this frame. Like look at the detail on that frame and the matting. Are you kidding me? Do you know how much frames cost? Hundreds of dollars. I looked into getting, I have like a, a painting up there that I've had, it's vintage, it's like from 92. One of my cousins painted it for me and I looked into getting it framed and you guys, it is so dang expensive. Even if you go to Michael's with like their 60% off framing coupon, extra 20%, it's still hundreds of dollars. Can we get like a like two pieces of wood and just glue them together? Like why is it hundreds of dollars? I have no idea. That's why I go to the Goodwill and I get artwork like this. And this was $8. I don't even wanna know how much someone paid for this dang frame. It's beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, oh, the bottoms of my feet are gonna fall off. This, $5 for this. I, I had big plans for this. I had big plans for a lot of things in my house. I was gonna buy like a buffet table and repaint it and re well, that, that's not gonna happen. At least not right now, maybe later, probably not. Maybe, if I find one. Well, wouldn't you know it, I sat down to edit this video and I don't know what the heck happened, but it froze for 10 minutes of me looking like this. So I have gathered everything that I think I shared during that period of time. So let me finish with this. Isn't it beautiful? I have yet to put like tea lights or anything in it. I had big plans for this. Did I tell you I had big plans for this? Get like a buffet table that I'm probably never gonna paint. I thought it opened. Oh, it has two latches. There we go, it opened. I just thought it was so pretty. And I've been watching like home decorating videos and how to make your home look nice. And apparently like wrought iron stuff like this is out, but I don't care. <laughs> I liked it, so I got it. It was five bucks. 
Something else that I really liked that I was in the market for were some mirrors. And remind me to share with you the mirror that I got for Avelina. Um, oh my gosh, first of all, sad story. I, I'll share with you this and then I'll share the sad story with you so it's something to look forward to. I'm in the market for a mirror. Mostly a full length mirror because I get dressed every morning and I, I just never know what the bottom half of me looks like. I mean, case in point. So I've been looking on Facebook Marketplace and stuff and you guys, people are trying to sell their mirrors for like $150, $70 because I want like a substantial size mirror. Um, so I have been quite lucky. I found a few at the Goodwill. I found this one. Whoa, for how much was this piece of crap? $10. And it's like one of the trendier ones with the thin black frame and the mirror is really nice. So I'm hoping to hang this in my closet and try to be able to see my full body. I don't know, it depends on how I hang it. Originally, this is from Hobby Lob and it was $70. So I know you can get 40% off. I don't think they offer the 40% off coupon anymore, but if you catch a sale and get it 40% off, still it's in great condition and I got it for $10. So I feel like that's a screaming deal. Okay, here's the sad story. And not only did I find that mirror, I also found a round one, like the ones that they sell at Ikea, that's like round, it has a thin black frame, but then at the bottom it has like the shelf, you know? And it was $10. So I said, amazing, and I put it in my cart, and I stowed it away until I was ready to like film and share the haul with you guys. And this is where the sadness comes in. It broke. Oh, the glass shattered. I was moving stuff around and all of a sudden I heard a crrr, and I said, no. So I guess seven years bad luck is coming my way. I'm trying not to think about it. So I plan to hang the mirror in my closet. Ho you guys, hopefully I get my closet unpacked. I still have not unpacked my closet. It's like a bit ridiculous. It's part of the reason why I'm like itching to get share this haul with you because I'm like sick of wearing the same five things over at, on rotation. <laughs> I'm like, I have a whole new wardrobe basically. And uh, yeah, I can just share that with you and then maybe just not even unpack my closet. Maybe I'll just donate everything since I've lived two months without it. But on that note, I need to go to Ikea. Okay, here we go, short story long. I need to go to Ikea before I, you know, unpack my closet because I want to organize it too. And then I also need to organize my pantry. So I figured when I'm at Ikea, I can just buy all the things to organize everything. And But really what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna be overwhelmed and probably not buy anything. So any, anyway, there's a basket that I want at Ikea I've been looking, I've had my eye on it for probably a year and it's always out of stock. Mm, jokes on them because I found something at the Goodwill. Look at this hanging basket. It's a hanging wall basket, which is the kind that I want from Ikea. It obviously looks a little nicer than this, um, but how much was this piece of crap? I don't know, I feel like it was $1.98 or something. Really ridiculous. Great place to find baskets is Goodwill. They have an abundance and they are affordable because it, you know if you go to Michael's or Target, anywhere that sells baskets, they'd want to charge like $59.96 for this. And that's just a hard pass for me. Although sometimes I cave in, <laughs> it's fine. Anyway, so I found this one and I figured I can hang it in my laundry room, maybe throw like the lint in here or whatever. I haven't really ironed out the details, but uh, there's that. And if I go to Ikea, I probably will still buy the hanging wall basket. Should we get into some clothing items and then we can finish the home goods stuff? Oh my gosh, you guys, there is so much stuff. I don't even know where to start with the clothing. Obviously, I'm wearing this. This is really cute. I've worn it. It, it has food all over it. I'm a mess. There's food on this one too, but like it's down here, so you can't really see it. Anyway, this one is adorable. It's not my size, but I love that like oversized look. It's totally fine. Uh, what brand is this? Miss Look. All right. I just thought it was adorable. I loved the buttons. I loved that it was a sweater. It is kind of cool. I can justify wearing a sweater in Florida. The high the next uh, 10 days is like 65 or something, maybe 70. And in Florida, it doesn't get much cooler than that. So I figured that's fine. Oh, speaking of sweaters and things that I found, I found this USF Bulls. Alex is a bull and my niece, I, and I'm kind of on the fence. Like, do I keep this? Ooh, it's champion. Ooh, so you know it's quality. Wait, there's no tag on this. Man, how much do they spend on that? When they put the security tag on it, they don't, the like price tag falls off with the 
security tag. So I don't know how much I paid for this. Find the little tag, I'll let you know. But uh, one of my nieces goes to USF as well, so I thought, oh, maybe I'll give this to her as a birthday gift, but I already got her some birthday gifts, so I'm on the fence about this. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or give it away. Short story long. Oh, this is a piece that I adore. I absolutely adore. This is Moon and Madison and $5. Oh my gosh. I was actually in the checkout lane. I, I did not try this on. I was in the checkout lane with Avelina and you know how sometimes Goodwill checkout lane can like be forever. Good news is right, you know, the whole time you're walking, you can like sift through the racks and um, my size was there and I found this adorable sweater. I thought it was beautiful. I love the knit detail of it and I don't know, I just felt like surely this will fit me. You know what? I feel like I tried it on over my clothes and Avelina took a picture of me. I feel like it's fine. Love those. Oh, this is another one I found in the checkout lane. Ooh, du jour. Not Dior, du jour. Du jour now, what? Uh, this is another one I found in the checkout lane and I don't know, you guys, I don't know. I like the print. I thought it was pretty 80s and kind of smells like the 80s. So there's that. I, how much was this piece of crap? Five dollars. I feel like maybe red tag was half off, but I'll, I'll never remember. Okay, what's in here? Ooh, this is cute. I don't remember buying this. Six dollars for a dress. Ooh, oh my gosh, I love this style of dress. I actually have this dress. I wonder if it's the same brand. This is Lush. I have it in like a cream white color that I wore for family photos. Loved how it fit me. Um, it was flattering for my body type. I try on a lot of like wrap dresses that's supposed to be flattering for everybody. Uh, not for me, okay? This is uh, this type of dress. So, uh, and I like the pink. So I thought, okay, let's do it. Six bucks. Okay, so you know how Easter is coming up? Oh my gosh, this is from David's Bridal. <laughs> I'm about to wear David's bridal dress for Easter. You know what, okay, I do have a wedding that's coming up as well. So I also feel like, oh, I can wear this to a wedding, sure. First of all, I love how David's bridal and like higher end companies always use vanity sizing where like this is a size two. I'm not a size two. <laughs> I'm small, but I'm not a size two. It just makes me laugh. Anyway, so this I thought was absolutely beautiful. It's like flowy and the top is kind of lacy. I am like slightly terrified that this is a David's bridal dress. Like is this too fancy for me to wear to a wedding? Because I'm not a bright, I'm just a guest. But I always err on the side of like, I'd rather be overdressed than underdressed because I've been in that situation before. And also one of the, not the last wedding we went to, but the wedding before that we went to, my outfit, I just, ugh, looking back at those pictures, I'm like, ugh, Kim, why? So I'd rather wear this. Oh, and you know what? There's no tag on this either because it probably had one of those clamps, but I wanna say normally the dresses are like, six to eight dollars i can't imagine it was more than that speaking of um i almost wore that for family photos i did not end up wearing it for family photos but i did find this adorable little dress um it's either a dress or a shirt this was three dollars four to five years old so i don't know it could be a dress for meredith it could maybe even fit eleanor and be a shirt so i just thought that was adorable to fit them and then Eleanor, one time I went with her and she found this really cute dress. It was $3 and it kind of has the same eyelet detail and it's pink and adorable. Oh my gosh. You guys, I can't even begin to explain. <gasps> no, 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 no. I forgot some crap in the car. Yes, I did. I gotta go get it. I gotta go get it. You guys, the find of the century at the Goodwill the other day, okay? I'm out of breath. Let me gather myself. We're browsing around and out of the corner of my stinking eye, I see this, a steam mop. And I recently just bought a bunch of pads off of Amazon for my steam mop. I have a shark. Oh, the proof is on the pad, so dang gross. First of all, do you have a steam mop? Second of all, I've had mine for probably five years, so I know in my mind, I'm like, it's probably on the fritz soon, so I've just had my eye out for one. I love mine. I use it all the time. I think it's fantastic. 
This one comes with two washable pads, and I thought, okay, even if the thing doesn't work, I'll buy it for the washable pads, you know? Because I just bought some off of Amazon, it was a pack of four, and I spent $16 on four pads. But I thought, I can only find one of my pads, and it's a pad that I hate using, because it's like just, anyway, so I bought them. So then I saw this, and I was like, oh, I wonder how stinking much it is, $15. So I said, okay, Kim, well, let's check it out, okay? Let's see if the pads are even still in there. Maybe they're like disgusting and worn. You guys are in for a treat, just like I was. Are you kidding me? You can't even see it. You can't even see it. Look, 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 it's brand new. It's never been used for $15. It's brand new. The packaging is still on it. The directions are still here. The stupid little thing to fill it up is still in it. All the stupid little pieces are in there with the stupid little plastic around it. I could not believe it. You know what? I said I wasn't gonna do it. I'm doing it. I need to know how much this is brand new. Survey says. Oh, gross, gross. On Amazon, it's $70. Ew, Best Buy has something for 100 70 at Home Depot. It looks slightly different, but holy crap. A steam mop for $15 that's literally never been used. I was outside my dang mind. So needless to say, you know how like when you go thrifting and you're, you know, buying stuff and you're like, oh, okay, this stuff is nice, but like, where's that piece? The piece de resistance. This is it for me, man. I saw this and I was like, done. That's it, that concludes my shopping experience for the day. Speaking of something else I found in the checkout line, this is another day. Um, I did not have time to try this on, so I don't know if it fits, so <laughs> I don't know, kind of regrets, but not really. Also, this is like pretty expensive. I wanna say it was $13, it is a two-piece set, so if you know anything about two-piece sets, you have to pay per piece. So I was like, I don't know, it's kind of expensive. I almost put it back and then I was thinking of it, you know, walking around town. If I were to see someone else in it, would I be green? And the answer to that is yes. So of course I went ahead and grabbed it. I don't know if it fits me. I'll be a little upset if it doesn't, but um, it's just a beautiful, I think it's a vintage little piece where it's just an eyelet detail and I thought it was darling. Here's the tag. I tried to look up the brand, but I don't know, I'm not very good at that stuff, clearly. So hopefully that fits me. Oh, I found this cute little number for $6. I have no idea if any of this stuff was half off, but I thought this would be just a cute little dress. Uh, I wanted to say for summer, but really in Florida, every day is almost summer, basically. <sighs> Even though I just explained I bought a bunch of sweatshirts, it's fine. Anyway, it's a cute little, it ties around your waist and it's really lightweight and flowy and I thought it was just darling. Where are all the workout pieces I bought? Is this one of them? I know I, ooh, this is made well. $3 for this, it's just a t-shirt. Um, yeah, $3 for a t-shirt, I feel like that's a good price. When Goodwill is trying to sell like a plain t-shirt for 10 bucks, I'm like, really Goodwill? Like that's a made well. Madewell is a great brand. $3 is a great price. You got yourself a sale. Um, speaking of turtlenecks and Ann Taylor, I love Ann Taylor. Uh, this was $5. Maybe purple was half off this day. I should start marking it. I'm not that organized. Um, even so, $5 is a great price for a cutesy little turtleneck. It's very lightweight. So even though it is a turtleneck, it's still lightweight. It's got a cute little puff sleeve and then um, I don't know, I thought it was cute. And every time it gets chilly outside, I think, oh, I have nothing that's like, that I can wear, <laughs> I don't know. I, mostly because I have not unpacked my closet yet. It's kind of, I'm doing my best, okay? I need to go to Ikea to grab the crap to organize my closet and then I'll organize my closet and my pantry. It's all coming very soon. But also I've just been wearing like the same four outfits over and over again. So that's part of the reason why I was like, I need to do this Goodwill haul so I can have some more outfits to wear. Oh, <gasps> yes! This is one of my favorite pieces that I got. Probably in my life. Okay, and first of all, this is a size 10. So if I was anywhere, this is from Ambiance. I probably would not think, oh yeah, I'm a size 10, but guess what? I'm a freaking size 10 in this. It's a jumper and the per the color is purple and it's just such a pretty shade of purple. And I thought it was so gorgeous. It, it has 
pockets? Like, is that a joke? I mean, I've never put on a romper that I've said that is amazing. Aside from, and after I found this, I found one on Thread Up. It's an Ann Taylor and it's a floral romper. It's pants, fits me. It's so comfortable and I love it so much. I'm definitely missing a bag. Okay, I'm not missing a bag. Uh, remember when we thrifted together and I tried these on and I said, no, oh, I don't really like them. Uh, turns out I did like them. <laughs> Okay, sorry, slight interruption. I forgot where I was, but I decided, yes, I do love these, and I am ready to wear them into yoga. Asked for some yoga spray. I got a cute little shirt that went along with it. This was $5. I don't know if I'll wear this to work out or just, you know, lounge around my house. That's why it's called athleisure. Oh yeah, this is Old Navy Active. I like working out in really lightweight shirts like this because I don't, ugh, I just always feel suffocated if I'm like sweating and I have a crew neck on with sleep. Ugh, no thank you. So that's a cute little number to work out in. You guys know I was on a mission to find some workout clothes. Um, I kind of struck out, but I found a lot from Thread Up, so it was a win there. I already posted that haul with you guys. I guess I found this shirt. Oh, this is a cute workout top. This is a cute workout top. This was $5. What's the brand? I don't know, it's brandless, but it's a cute little croppy toppy and I like that. I also found these pants. Um, these are more loungy pants. They're kind of thick to work out in, but maybe on a cold day. Uh, the brand is Zella, and um, I paid $4 for them. They have like the cinch at the ankle, and they have pockets, which is a must have. Also found this. Oh, did I say I was wearing that pink dress to the wedding? Um, I think I decided I needed some options, especially after my uh, wedding finasco. <laughs> If you watch The Bachelor, you know that's a joke. Anyway, so I thought, you know what? I would like to have more options in my arsenal. A good baby doll dress is always, well not always, something I've recently had my eye out on. I love the color of this. It's like a dark green and I think that's like trendy. Oh no, is there a stain up top? That's probably from my makeup. So I'll just shout that out. Ah! That didn't work. And then I found this white shirt. I don't know, this is just like a white tank top. It was $3. There's that. Kids clothes, I'll get to that in a bit. Why did I buy this? Is this for me? Nope, that's for Schmelinor. Oh my gosh, speaking of Eleanor, look at the cutest little dress that she got. So adorable. That was $3 for a dress. I love thrifting kids clothes, especially because they grow out of them so fast. And I love thrifting clothes for me because my taste changes so often. It's a good way to like change up your style, try new styles, be whoever you want to be wearing thrifted store clothing, right? Coldwater Creek. Oh, these are petite. Um, so I'm trying to buy like pants like actual pants, these have pockets. Yeah, Coldwater Creek knows what they're doing. It's just, it has a cute little tie around the waist. I almost didn't buy these, they're $8. No, <gasps> orange tag. I feel like orange tag was half off that day. I feel like maybe that was a draw. No, I don't think it was. I don't think it was half off. Man, maybe that's why I was not sure if I was going to buy them. So $8 for just a pair of pants, I thought, they're comfortable, okay, okay. Ooh, and then my daughter talked me into getting this one. This one was $5 and the brand is Loft. So you guys know I already, I love that brand. And it was just, it's a cute little boho. It's got a bell sleeve. It's got some um, eyelet detail on the top. And the color is really cute and flowy and pretty and peachy and all that good stuff. Ooh, another loft find. Wow, I'm so surprised. $7 for this one, unless it was half off, in which case, who the heck knows at this point. It's just a white um, top. So you guys know I'm in the market for like some neutral tops because sometimes I have crazy looking bottoms and I sometimes I've got crazy looking tops and then I think, well, I can't like pair crazy with crazy. <laughs> one part of it has to be okay looking. So, I don't know, I like that. I needed some neutral pieces. Oh, ooh, wow, did I buy this? $5 for this gem. Hey, a cute little Cardi. Hey, remember when I decluttered my closet and said, why do I have this many cardigans? It's so unnecessary. Well, apparently I feel like it is necessary again to ha own multiple cardigans, so there's that. Okay, oh my gosh, we wanna take a break on the clothing and I can show you the world. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Hey, 
I bought this. Don't ask me why, I just did. It was $5 and I had no one to talk me out of it, okay? I thought, oh, we're moving to the lake house. Maybe I should lean into that. No, Kim, no. <gasps> Speaking of, I got this basket. Check it, check this basket out, you guys. Guess how much it was? Six dollars. It's such a good quality basket. You guys at home goods, this would be $49.95. It's unreal. I think actually it's maybe supposed to be like a, a file cabinet or something in here. You guys know I need to organize my life, so I'm in the market for all kinds of good quality baskets. This one looked really great. It was in great condition. And for $6, it's gotta be a joke, right? I said, is this a joke? And then I found this water bottle. I am forever looking for my kids' water bottles. This one is re in really nice shape. We have one very similar to this from Thrive Market. $3. Do you know how much water bottles go for? $20, easily $20. TJ Maxx, maybe 15 for this size. Okay, and then I found this crappy little uh, Batman. Actually, it's not crappy. It looks decent, it's in decent shape. I'm, again, always looking for kids' water bottles. And the straw, not looking so hot, but you can buy replacement straws. $2 for this. Do you guys know how much these sell for at Target? I don't really know, but I feel like they're at least $16. And I'm, that's not an exaggeration. Not a dramatization. Ooh, okay, so I went to, whenever I take the girls out thrifting, and I say, okay, what's on your list of things that you hope to find today? And Avelina said, a ring light for her phone, I think, a selfie light. And I, she said, we're not gonna find one. And so we were sifting through some, you know, gems. And I said, Avelina, you never gonna guess what I think I found. Look, the teeniest, tiniest little light that you just clip onto your phone. It's a selfie light from mobile devices. It was $3. And I said, you found yourself a ring light, my friend. Okay. Speaking of something that's awesome, $7, you guys. This has never been used, and I know that it's never been used because if you've ever used a slip and slide, you know that you can never fold it back and put it into a box like this. So, never been used, you guys. Who the heck can wrap it up like that? No one. So this is originally from Target, which I can only assume was at least $20, $25. I paid $7 for it at the Goodwill, and it's just a slip and slide. Of course, it's necessary to add soap to that, okay? Because that's what makes you really slip and slide. I got some shoes that I really like. Do you guys want to see the shoes or uh, something else? Okay, I'll show you guys. Okay, <laughs> I have literally so much more to show you. It's not even funny. I'm trying to go fast, but you know, it's not really working out. Okay, I found these a while ago and I've been <laughs> using them around the house. And it's funny because um, the, the brand is Temptations. And I didn't know that this was like a sought after brand or people collect these, I guess. So I've been using them and I got a DM from someone who was like, oh, you live in that nice house now, so I guess you're using all the nice like dishware. <laughs> and I was like, I got them from a Goodwill. These were $4 for a set of three. I assume there's maybe one missing or something. I don't really know. Uh, but not only did I get these, that I've been using them because I thought, you know what, Kim, it's time to like get adult things. <laughs> I found these and this was $6 for these two trays and they match. Like, are you kidding me? What are the odds? And you know what? I mean, someone probably donated them all together. There's two trays in here, by the way. You just take the trays out and then this is like a holder for it. So I've been using them a lot and they've actually come in handy quite a few times. And I feel so stylish and profilish when I do use them, okay? But again, I found them at the stinking thrift store. It's not like I'm fancy schmance over here. Typically when I use them, I get DMs like, oh my gosh, because some people collect them. And I guess it's a thing that I didn't know about. Um, okay, I also found these dishes. I am on the hunt for some dishes, planning on getting some at Ikea. I found these, you guys know you can get these at Target. These are the bigger ones. Um, I like them, we have the matching bowls. $2, $1.98 for a bunch of plates. Oh yeah, please. And then I found this bowl. Maybe I was looking for, who the heck knows? I could always use a bowl to mix crap, to serve crap, to put crap out on my counter in, to do whatever the heck I want with it, okay? $3.96 for just a really nice bowl. 
sold. And then, oh my gosh, okay, this may have been a mistake because I don't know if all the pieces are here. I opened it up and it looks like it's never been opened before. Like the tape is still on it, the boxes are all still intact. And like, I, it just looks like it's never been opened before. It is from Bed Bath & Beyond, normally $34.99. I know you can, or you used to be able to get 20% off of things. Um, so at the Goodwill, they had it for $13. I just looked at the tag and I already forgot. Um, it's just like a tiered tray kind of thing to serve food in. And I've been serving food a lot and I thought, you know what, that might be nice to have. Okay. Oh my gosh, are we done yet? I have so much more stuff, it's unbelievable. Okay, speaking of more stuff, I found this. It's a dash and it was $4. I have no idea what it's for. I googled it after the fact and found out that it's probably missing some rounds that you can make like egg cups in. I don't really know, but I figured I could use it as a griddle or I could use it literally for anything. I can use that as a sandwich press. I could use it to make pancakes. I could use it to make oatmeal and maybe an omelet and probably even a waffle, maybe some grilled cheese, probably a hamburger I can fit in there. Ooh, what about some chicken? I bet you I can cook some chicken in here too. Possibilities are literally endless and for $4, I said, I'll take it. Hey, you know what else I said I would take? Three pairs of shoes. I found these white loafers. Um, they were $5. And they look, I don't think anyone's ever worn them. Oh, no, that tag looks a little worn. Maybe they wore, oh my gosh, did someone pay $30 for these? You, hold on, you tell me. Does that say $39.99 or $49.99? Or $29.99? Compare at $50. I don't know, man, but I didn't pay anywhere near that. They literally look like they've never been worn. If they did, someone wore socks, man. Okay, shut the heck up. Leather in here? You guys, $5 for a pair of white loafers? I said, I've been looking for some white loafers. <laughs> I haven't been. And then I found these. These were literally brand new until I wore the snaws out of them during the holidays and wore them like all over town. The brand is Universal Thread and I couldn't tell you how much I paid for them because I wore the dang sticker down. I wanna say they were like $4.98 for some like slip on cute little white loafers. Amazing. Okay, and then I don't know who the heck I thought I was. Like I said, at the thrift store, you could be anybody. And I thought I was a working gal. <laughs> the brand of these are Parade. They're no Louis Vuittons, but uh, there's that. $8.96, but I feel like these were half off when I bought them. Uh, just some red heels. I don't know, everyone feels fancy in a, a red heel, right? Uh, don't, don't freaking ask me any more questions about the red shoes. I don't have any answers for you. Did I buy this for myself? I hope not. No, okay, this is for Avelina. <laughs> we have very different styles. Okay, um, and then I found this. I need to replant one of my succulents that I got and I found this for $4. Oh man, maybe like $3. I guess $4 is not that bad, but here we go. $4 for just a little teacup gardening thing. I don't know what. Ooh, this is another great find. <laughs> I'm laughing because when I got home, I played a game with Alex and his friends. And I said, guess what I bought? And literally they sat there and guessed and it was hilarious. Okay, I found this theater sign, $4.96. There's like above the theater room that we have upstairs, there's like a little archway. It's, anyway, so I thought, oh yeah, we can, is this like too kitschy to put? I don't know, I, I thought maybe for $5 we'll test the waters. Oh my gosh, something over here. <laughs> my legs hurt so bad. I found it. It's something that I've actually had my, oh my gosh, my hair. Something that I've had my eyes out on and gosh, what time is it? Seven, seven dollars Goodwill, good grief. In our bathroom, Whenever we run out of toilet paper, like there's there's nothing that can store it. And then in that bathroom too. So actually I need two of these. And I found some at Home Goods, uh, not exactly like this. So I imagine this is where you like hang the roll of toilet paper. This is where you store it. I don't know what this is for. Is this for your shower? Guys, I have no idea. Do you put your cell phone here while you're going potty? Like what is this? Someone put their soap for sure right there. That's. That smells quite delightful. 
Anyway, I don't, I guess I really don't know what this is, but that's how I'm going to use it. Okay. All right. <laughs> Avelina really wants to decorate her bedroom and she got these flowers for $4. All right. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I got Fabletic stuff over here. I got so much more crap. I really like this shirt. Isn't it cute? I mean, it's like kind of plain, but kind of not. I like the color of it and the texture of it. I just thought it was such a cute shirt. I want to say I paid like $4 for this one. I really like that. I like that a lot. I found some Fabletics leggings that I've been like dying to wear. Maybe I already wore them. Who the heck knows? I don't know how much I paid for them because there's no price tag on them, but they're just Fabletics workout leggings. Amazing. And then I found this workout top that maybe I'll wear with it. Most likely not. Old Navy Active. $5. Cool. Avelina really wants a dog, so instead I got her a picture of a dog. <laughs> that is not the kind of dog that she wants. She wants a, um, uh, we looked into getting a golden doodle because they, we can get it hypoallergenic, which is very important. Alex is very allergic, and then it's the kind of dog that she wanted. Um, but now we're unsure, who the heck knows, so maybe one day she'll fill this up with a picture of her and a dog. I don't know, man. I feel like a dog is just as much work as a baby. Like, legit newborn status. You have to like train them how to go to the bathroom and like, I, I'm not. No, thank you. <gasps> oh, I forgot I got this. Uh, okay. $2.50 I paid for this express uh, sweatshirt. It's not a sweatshirt. It's just a long sleeve, long sleeve something, long, sweater. Is that what these things are called? I don't know, man, I live in Florida. What is this? <laughs> I love the color and I just thought it was pretty, so there's that. Oh my gosh, did I buy this for myself? Oh, this was another half off item, it was $1.50. That's not like me to not put something inside out. Is this for me or for Avelina? We're gonna have to figure that out, who the heck knows. $1.50 for that. I have no idea how much this was. I actually don't even remember buying it. It's brand new with tags. Kim, like, what were you thinking? What is happening? Like, who did I think I was when I bought this? This color does n is not flattering on me. Is it? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, I don't think so. I think it kind of washes me out. I guess I liked something about it because I said, yep, getting that. Unless it accidentally got into the yes pile when it was meant to go in the no pile. Oh, yep, here's this. Oh, so when I was looking for a dress for the wedding that we went to uh, a couple months ago, I found this one and I guess some part of me was like, that's the dress. I honestly don't know what I was thinking, who I was, but I am not this lady. Uh, nope, skin tight dress, are we going to Ebor? Are we going out for the night? Are we staying out for the rest of the night? Am I wearing my red heels with this? How much am I going to charge? That you can see every nook and cranny. And, and I just, what, what was I thinking? Apparently I was not. Okay, moving on to some frames that I found. First of all, I found way more art than this, but it's like hanging around my house and I can't remember what I shared with you and what I did. So I found this one. Wait, where's the tag? Oh, there it is. $4, first of all, we've already talked about the frames. $4 for not only artwork, but a nice frame and like that piece of matte paper. You can't even get that piece of matte for $4, you know what I mean? I thought this one was really special. It's like homemade. Did someone draw that? I feel like yes. It's got a special note over here to Janine or Janie. 1986, it, this is 35, 36 years old and it is still looking fresh. I really have been on the hunt for like these older looking antique style frames because I want to make a gallery wall. And so my intention is to, I don't know if I'm going to keep the artwork inside. I kind of like this. I like that it's like personalized and it's got a story behind it. She's so cute. She's carrying a little teddy bear. Uh, I can't read the rest of it, but uh, it looks nice. And then I found this and you can only guess where I'm going to put it. That's right, I'm going to put it in my office. <laughs> I plan on maybe putting it in, obviously, the bathroom. I hate taking baths. Uh, if there were any way to cleanse my body other than even showering, I don't even like showering. I'm like, in and out, please get me out of the water. But I just thought this was so pretty. The frame was pretty. I like the antique style bathtubs and stuff, so I don't know, how much was it? Again, four stinking dollars. Like what, this was framed by Cedar Creek Collection. 
and I wonder if they're still around. Okay, something else that I found. Ooh, this is heavy duty. Ooh, yeah, this was seven bucks, a whole seven dollars on a nice piece of artwork. Wait, I did I already share this with you? La Dons. Um, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, Kim, you had this in the old house. Maybe I shared this with you, but it's still pretty, gives me Bridgerton vibes nonetheless. All right, there it is. If I were to share it with you, I'm so sorry. I can't even remember what I ate for breakfast. Okay, for Miss Meredith, most of the girls' clothes they've just kind of taken and been uh, wearing and stuff. $3 for this. I thought this was so adorable. Look at the rainbow tulle skirt with the cutesy little whiteness on it. $3, and I bet you, check out this tag, man. That does not look like a $3 tag. Um, I bet you it was really expensive. Oh, I also grabbed Oh my gosh, this has an airplane on it. Yeah, I wasn't thinking. I grabbed these for Meredith. It's just a cute little outfit. It's got unicorns and some yellow pants. These are for Avelina. <gasps> Meredith loves Frozen. So I found this cute little hoodie. And this was, oh my gosh, half off. So I paid $1.50 for a little sweatshirt for her. And a cutesy little $1.50 for this t-shirt too. Look, it's Anna Elsa. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, okay, my battery's dying. Let's finish this thing up. Look, a cheese board and knife set, you guys. I got this for a giveaway for you um, and then forgot to include it in the last giveaway, so this will be in the next giveaway. It was $4, so you're gonna have this in your hands, hopefully pretty soon if you uh, enter the giveaway that will inevitably be coming. Okay, so anyway, I got a bunch of clothes for the kids that, I mean, some, some trendy stuff over here. This is really cute, but Anyway, well I had to get a new battery to uh, take the thumbnail. I bet you thought I forgot about sharing with you Avelina's mirror. Check it, check it you guys. Check the frame on this monstros. Just the sheer size of this mirror is amazing. Guess how much I paid for it. You're never gonna guess. Well maybe you will, $30. Which seems a little steep, especially for a thrift store, but Mirrors like this are very hard to come by for $30. So she's been really enjoying this. Now I'm gonna enjoy having it in my thumbnail. Woo! We're okay. I also didn't show you this stuff. I, I just grabbed some random things. I'll show you one of them. This Play-Doh set, I don't really know why I bought it. Where the heck is the price tag? $4. Oh, it's got shapes and stuff. It's a learning thing for Play-Doh shapes, colors, it's got some stuff, so I thought that was a good price. That's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed your time here. If you did, subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'm trying to beat my battery. I'll see you next time, bye.